One of the coolest things about the Halo games as a whole is the fact that you can zoom around in various different vehicles. Even all the way back in Combat Evolved, we had an interesting selection of vehicles that we could drive around in. And sure, sometimes the vehicles had some weird physics with it, or later on in the Halo franchise, sometimes a really amazing vehicle would be introduced and then we would never see it again in a game. But as it turns out, there has been many different instances of vehicles that were considered, worked on, designed, or prototyped that just never made its way into a final release of a Halo game. And it's really interesting to look back at a lot of the things that didn't quite make it into a final release of the game just to wonder what it would be like had those vehicles never been cut from the original game itself. And seriously, there's some really interesting things. Starting things off, if we decide to look all the way back to the pre-Xbox build of Halo, back when the game was still being conceptualized as a strategy game, there was a ton of content in general that didn't make its way into Halo once the game made its shift into the first-person shooter that we know today. For instance, there's a ton of footage out there from the pre-Xbox build of Halo that show off vehicles like a Humvee rather than a Warthog, which was kind of based off of the real-life vehicle. Matter of fact, a lot of the human vehicles actually looked more like a modern day militaristic take rather than the standard scorpion design or warthog design that we have today. Even the what would become Covenant vehicles look drastically different than the aesthetic that we actually see in the modern Halo games. And as Halo continued to evolve after the RTS stage, things for a while shifted into a third person perspective and from the stuff that was released around that time we can actually see quite a bit of really unique vehicles along the way. Besides the typical scorpion tank or the early versions of the warthog that still look slightly different, we can see things like a stealth tank. I just love the concept of a tank being stealthy. We can see things like boats, which they even called it the dual carrot watercraft, and even a helicopter. And there were plans even all the way back in the earliest stages of Halo development to have the Spectre make an appearance. And we just can only imagine how perfect Comet Evolved would have been had the Spectre graced us with its presence all the way back in 2001. But as development on Halo continued to progress and things started to shape more closely to what we actually saw when Combat Evolved fully released, there still were some vehicles that got cut later on in development that were designed and a lot of thought were put into them, though they were never fully implemented in time for the game's release. For instance, there was a vehicle known as the Covenant Bomber, which looked a lot like the Spirit, but it was actually supposed to be more comparable to the Banshee, just being a heavier version. There was also plans for a alternate version of the Pelican, which would have been a troop deployment pod variation for the Pelican, or it was an extension attached to a normal Pelican, which would allow troops to drop on off. It was a really neat concept and actually something we think would be really awesome to see brought back in a future Halo game. Then there were plans, at least in the early stages with some concept art that does exist, of a Forerunner tank, something that we actually never saw in the main release of Combat Evolved, and this idea actually would be brought back later for Halo 2, though that level ended up getting cut all together and the sections or the original plan for what would have had the Forerunner tank section was kind of transformed into the gondola section on Sacred Icon. Continuing on with Halo 2 though, there were some really, really awesome plans for things that we never fully got to see when that game released. For instance, there was a watercraft vehicle called the Doozy and it straight up was it like a jet ski with two seats on it. It just looks like so much fun and I feel like they maybe held on to that design in the back of their minds and maybe turned it into a sparrow in Destiny when that finally would come around, even though it's not a water vehicle. Still, there's just something really unique about this concept. And then interestingly enough, the name for this vehicle, the Doozy, was still brought into the Halo canon, though it's actually a snowmobile and not a watercraft version of it. Still, there's a vehicle in Halo canon called the Doozy officially, and that's still kind of neat. Okay, the next one, if you played Halo Spartan Strike, you might actually recognize it, but the Kestrel was actually a vehicle that was originally intended to appear all the way back in Halo 2, almost to be the UNSC equivalent of the Banshee. Matter of fact, Bungie actually talked about this vehicle in a behind the scenes for Halo 2 and suggested that it was too hard to get the physics in the engine to work correctly, so it ended up getting cut altogether, though there were different concepts for the design made in those earlier stages. Another vehicle that would later appear in a Halo game that was originally conceptualized during the Halo 2 stages was actually 
the Falcon, which came in Halo Reach, but originally was intended for Halo 2. Now, it does seem like somewhere along the lines, this vehicle ended up getting cut, as some of the Polygon models are still in the game files, and to an extent can still be accessed through modding. Marcus Leto actually talked a little bit about this on Twitter back in 2019, and he actually suggested that after they finished building the Pelican, he wanted to design a smaller unit deployment craft, and the Falcon was something that was in development during Halo 2, which later got turned into the Hornet, which he actually never liked by the release of Halo 3. But finally, the idea was realized when Halo Reach came around, and we finally got to see the Falcon in all of its glory in-game, and we haven't seen it since. <laughs> also, another vehicle that almost made it into Halo 2, but just was cut kind of towards the end, was the original Mongoose, which was very close to being released and didn't actually make its debut until Halo 3, though the vehicle was fully built and completely animated, though Bungie later revealed that the vehicle interfered too much with the Warthog and Ghost, so it ended up getting cut. But the concept art for the Mongoose on Burial Mounds is just great, like this guy just doing the Superman over there. I appreciate that. There also were different Warthog variations that would have been possibly put into Halo 2 as well. The one that is my favorite by far is the snow variation. It just has those gull wing doors and just something we really appreciate. Also, if you remember on the Halo 2 level outskirts, there is the shadows that drive by and they're carrying ghosts. There was a version that would carry troops, though it ended up getting cut out of the game and we never actually saw it. But it looks like it would just be like some little sofas or some sort of little hangout room for the Covenant to ride on before they have to drop in. I mean, not really, it's really just a bench, but you know. Interestingly enough though, when Halo 2 Anniversary released in the game files, they did do a full visual update for this vehicle that never actually appeared in the game. Now we're just assuming here, but it is possible that when the assets for Halo 2 Anniversary were sent over to whatever studio was developing the remastered versions of them, that asset was included and they were made even though they never actually showed up in the game. Next, we're gonna look at Halo 3, which was one of the Halo games that had the most vehicles at its time of release. But honestly, for the most part, there weren't any vehicles, at least as far as we know at this time, that made it very far into development and ended up getting scrapped later on. The only one that we know of currently is the Medical Troop Warthog, which can still be found in the game files, but it pretty much looked like a regular Warthog transport hog, but it had stretchers instead of seats, though with some modding, it appears that the Marines still just sit on it instead of laying out on the stretchers, so it likely wasn't fully finished by the time it ended up getting scrapped. When it comes to Halo Reach, there were some vehicles that had concept art for them, though we don't know the full extent as to how close these vehicles actually made into a full release in the game. For example, there's a vehicle that has concept art for it called a Kodiak APC, and it looks interesting, but one thing that is really cool are these little warthog boats. I don't know if or how this would have been implemented into Halo Reach, but I just really love the way that these things look. For Halo 4, it becomes more ambiguous or maybe a little more vague as to what was actually cut content and what little we actually know about Halo 4's development, though it does appear that there are some leftover vehicle assets from Halo Reach since Halo 4 uses a lot of Reach's engine. For instance, there is some files and models for a Revenant, a Space Banshee, and even a Falcon, which of course never actually were included in the multiplayer. And similarly with Halo 5, there's not a lot known about what vehicles were cut out, though there is concept art for a vehicle known as the Forerunner Boomerang. Honestly, it's an A plus name. It was supposed to be some sort of hovercraft type thing, Promethean ship maybe. It looks kind of interesting. It never made it into the game. Okay, and then all the way back in 2004, there was development on a Halo MMORPG. It was going to be made by Ensemble Studios, the same people that made Halo Wars. And while there are concept arts and there's other little things of intended vehicles that would have been recognizable to Halo fans, there was one vehicle that was completely unique called the Aardvark, and it just looks like a single seat type vehicle. It might have been a mount of some type since it was an MMORPG, or maybe it was a fully functioning vehicle. The idea of a Halo MMORPG is still kind of mind-blowing to us, and it's so interesting how much stuff was developed in this game just for it to ultimately get scrapped 
but still, a little piece of lost content that never actually got to make its way out there. But then again, Ensemble Studios went on to do Halo Wars, and later on we did eventually see a Halo Wars 2, though not made by Ensemble. But between these two Halo games alone, there were so many vehicles that ended up getting cut, and at the same time, Halo Wars is known for introducing or making debuts of Halo vehicles in a video game for the first time. But still, it is interesting to look at all the vehicles that were cut from the Halo Wars franchise, but since there's a lot of them, we're gonna go through them a little bit quicker. There was the UNSC Cougar, which would have served as a heavy armored vehicle and likely served as the inspiration for the Cobra. There were considerations to introduce the Falcon, which was cut from Halo 2, obviously. There was this large Gatling gun looking thing that would have been called a Fox Cannon that looks really awesome. There also was concepts for a moving base, which is a really unique vehicle. It would have been called a Leviathan Mobile Firebase, and it is likely that this concept ended up ultimately appearing in a very different form as the Mammoth in Halo 4, where at least it was a giant vehicle that kind of served as a base. There also was plans for a Mongoose to appear in Halo Wars, which never made its way, and other things like a Brute Tank, which somewhat resemble a Wraith, a vehicle that slightly resembled a Scarab known as the Chimera, and a vehicle that looks like a terrifying version of the Banshee known as a Gargoyle, which would have been a bomber craft for the Covenant. Also in Halo Wars, there was plans for a vehicle called the Gorgon, which would have been this large anti-air type vehicle that shot needle weapons. It does look a little bit goofy, and interestingly enough, by Halo Wars 2, a similar vehicle called the Reaver was implemented into the game. And there was also some concept art of a vehicle called the Hydra, which never made its way into the game either. Also, interestingly enough, during the promotional stuff for Halo Wars, the Scarab that was shown off actually resembled the Halo 2 model of the Scarab, which is a different variant, and later when Halo Wars released, it had the updated version that's used in games like Halo 3 and Halo 3 ODST. In Halo Wars 2, there was some concept art for a quadruped Colossus, which later got turned into a biped version of it, though the four-legged version is pretty neat. And what's Halo without a tank? Well, at one point, Halo Wars 2 considered a super heavy tank, and it was pretty much just a tank but beefier. And then, of course, there was some flood units that were designed that never got implemented, and a ton of vehicles of regular vehicles that were infected by the flood that unfortunately ultimately went unused. And some of them are really interesting to look at, like the infected Hornet. It's pretty great. It's Luke's favorite cut vehicle. But for whatever reason, all of these infected versions of the vehicles never made their way into Halo Wars 2. Okay, so out of all of these vehicles that never actually made their way into a main Halo game for release. Which one would you like to see the most? I want to see some of those watercraft vehicles just because they look so awesome. But let us know what you think in the comments down below. Also, follow us on Twitter. You can follow me at Rocket Elijah or Luke at Rocket Sloth Luke. But that's it for today. We'll see you guys all next time with a brand new video.